Hi, welcome back to another episode of Bake and Make. I'm Angela Kapesky. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool 3D Fireman Sam Fire Truck cake. Now you need to bake four rectangular cakes, and these are a 9 by 13 inch in size. And I'm using a chocolate mud, mud cake here. Um, I'll be putting a recipe up shortly of the chocolate mud cake. You can use a packet mix or your own recipe if you wish. And I also have a vanilla cake recipe on my channel that you can use. You'll need four quantities of that recipe. And these are approximately 2.5 centimeters on each layer. Now what you need to do is stack two of the layers and we're going to cut them into three pieces. So just take a, a ruler and measure about 10.2 10 centimeters on each piece and cut that down into three. Now I need to stack the layers and I'm using five, five layers here. And then just take your other layer and place that on the side. Do the same with the other two layers, cut them down into three pieces. And what we're going to do is we're going to take two layers and place that at the back there. So just line that up as you can see and take a knife and we need to cut that excess off there. Just cut that down. Take another piece and place it at the back and you're just going to measure both sides there. And we need to cut that piece to fit the back section there. So just measuring it there and slice off that excess there. Just like that. Now you can see that's a little bit too high so you need to slice the top part off until it comes even with the other section. Take your other piece and we're going to use that piece to fill that section there. So again mark that. And then just cut that down there. Now if you find that's too high, just mark it um, using the knife mark it on both sides and slice that down until you get the required height. Okay, what you need to do is take two your last two pieces and this is going to be for the top part. So mark it there on the side, cut that down and place it on the front section. Now we need to cut this on an angle so starting from the top work your way halfway down on an angle. Now I'm using a 15 inch square board here. It's a masonite board. You can buy these online on eBay, on Amazon or, in any, or at any cake decorating supply store. And this is going to be our presentation board. Now I've got some chocolate ganache here. Uh, I've got a recipe on my channel and I'll leave the link in the description below for the recipe video. And this is what we're going to be using to, um, to ice the cake with. You can use buttercream but I'm just using ganache today. So we're going to take some of the ganache and we're going to spread it on an angle in the centre of the board. And we're going to use this to stick the cake to our board. So just spread an even amount there. And we're going to take our cake, now we need to work um, from the bottom layer, so take them off in order, just separating them there. And we'll take that bottom layer and place it in the centre.
And then we're just going to fill each layer. So we're going to stick each piece together with the ganache. And just continue to layer this until you reach the end there. So as you can see I'm just feeling, I'm just placing the ganache on each side of the pieces. And you need to place some ganache on the side, on the top as well. Now taking a scraper we're going to scrape the sides of the cake and this is just going to give it an even surface and just remove that excess there with a knife. Continue to do this all the way around. Again removing that excess ganache. As you can see we're starting to get a nice clean finish here. Now you'll find in time that the ganache will start to set and it will become harder which is um, much, it's a good thing, it's much easier to work with. So just continue to do this on the top as well. Again removing that excess ganache from the scraper. There we go and finish that off. Now you need to take some red fondant and I'm using some icing sugar, you can use corn flour, just sprinkle some down and we're going to roll this out. Just taking a smoother and smooth it out and we're going to cover the cake so gently place it over the top, make sure to secure the sides first so it doesn't tear and just using your, your hands to smooth that out all the way down to the bottom there and on the sides. Smooth that out down the bottom and grab a sharp knife and we're going to cut that excess fondant off. So just slice around all four sides and remove that excess there. Now I'm using a large acrylic smoother here and we're just going to smooth out the cake. Now you need to make two templates and I've got one here for the front, that's for the window at the front and for the side. Now the front window is 10 centimeters by 5 centimeters and the side window is 5 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters by 3.5 centimeters. So I've just cut them out of paper and we need to line them up there. So the front window needs to be at the front section on the top there. So just line that up and what I'm going to use today is a sharp blade. So we're just going to cut that out as you can see just down to where the ganache is underneath. Do the same with the side windows. And you can see there we've got the outline. Now we need to remove that fondant from there so carefully cut that in the center and then just peel that away. Be very gentle here that you don't damage the sides. So we're just creating a window cavity there. Do the same with the other side. Now roll out some black fondant for our windows and using those same templates just cut around, around the template with a sharp knife. Take the window and place it inside that section there. Just smooth the ends, ends out with your fingers. Now you need to cut out from a piece of paper or strip and the strip is 1.3 centimeters in width. So again taking the sharp blade we're going to cut around all four sides of the cake as you can see there. Now these are for the wheels and I've made a template and what I've done is I've just put two um, 3.8 centimeter circles there and I've traced around it and the same with this one so you need one singular and one with a double so just place the double one at the back you need to cut around that and same with the front one as well ok 
Okay, as you can see here, I've cut out um, half the wheel section and I've got a strip here which is the same size, 1.3 centimeters. It's um, grey fondant and we're just going to place that underneath into that section there and it needs to go all around four sides. So just do that and work your way around to the back. Okay, now I've done the same with the top part there. So again with a the template there, just cut half of those out and stick them in. Now what you need to do is cut out one white strip and one red strip. So that's going to be for the bottom part. So glue that on there, just using some sugar glue or water. And just smooth that out there. And same with the top bumper. So this one's a little bit thicker than that white piece. So take some sugar glue, run it along the edge there, and stick that on them. Just smooth that out and make sure that it's straight. Cut out some small red pieces. And these are going to go in the front there. So just stick them on. And the other ones are on an angle. Cut out a grey piece of fondant and that's going to go for the on the front bumper there. Just stick that on with some sugar glue. Make sure that it's straight. Take some white fondant and roll out two small balls. And these are going to be for the little lights on the side. So stick those on, one on each side. Now you need to roll out four small balls of white and four small balls of blue. Stick them in the front there and two on the top. Same with the blue. Place them on the top there for the lights and one each on the front there. Take some grey fondant, roll these out for the little horns, place them on Now you need to cut out three rectangular shapes of grey fondant and I've just made little indents there with a knife. Place some sugar glue on the back and we're just going to stick one in the centre there. That's the biggest piece. The other piece needs to go next to the window. And do the same with that small piece which needs to go at the back there towards the wheels. Now I'm using a 3.8 centimeter cutter here and these are for the wheels. So just cut out six circles and you need to cut out six small um, round circles. They're two centimeters each. So glue those on and you need to cut out three small red circles again with that two centimeter cutter and cut them in four. And as you can see I'm sticking two pieces per wheel. Now using a 3.8 centimeter cutter, you need to cut out two, ra two round um, blue circles. And as you can see there, I've cut that one on an angle. Cut out two small stars and two little strips there. And glue the stars on the, on the blue round circles there. And we're going to stick one at the front. And the other one's going to go in the back section there in the center. Take your two small yellow pieces and stick them either side. Making sure that they're straight. Now cut out a strip. This strip is two centimeters in width. And it needs to go from the front and work your way round down to the end there at the back. Just smoothing that out with your fingers, making sure that it's straight. And you need to do the same with the other side as well. Now roll out a grey piece of fondant and this has to fit in between those two strips on the top there. So just cut that out. If you need to use a ruler and measure it. And it needs to go all the way down to the bottom. 
Just smooth that out and take a knife and cut that excess off there. Now roll out three strips of yellow and they're approximately one centimetre in width and we're going to um, glue these on for the, ladder, for the ladder there. So as you can see I've just placed some sugar glue there and it's much easier to work with when you have a guide on the cake. So just do the same with the other side. Remove the excess off the end there and cut those into small pieces and place them down and center there. Roll out two strips of grey fondant and stick them either side. And cut that excess off. Roll out a grey piece of fondant and we're going to start covering the board. So as you can see I've cut that in half and I'm just using some sugar glue on the board. I'm just going to stick that down and using a knife just cut that down evenly. Take a blade and remove the excess off the board there. Do the same with the back. Roll out some green fondant and cut it in half. Now you need enough to fit that side section. Just smooth that out. Take a smoother and you can smooth it out as well. And again take a blade and we're just going to cut, we're going to remove that excess off the board. So just cut that down straight. Do the same with the back, back side as well. Now we're going to stick our wheels on. So just place some sugar glue at the back and stick each wheel. Okay, now what I've done here is I've made the figurine. I haven't made a video of this and I'll do one, I'll do one shortly, but the video was just too long. So if you'd like me to make show you how to make this figurine, please comment below. Now I've cut out some letters just using um, just using one of these cutters. You can buy these online on eBay, on Amazon or at your, at your local cake shop and so we're going to stick the figurine so I'm just going to place it there in the center and I'm just going to stick those letters on there and there we go our beautiful 3D Fireman Sam cake I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video and I hope you guys have fun making it um, so thanks for watching and I look forward to showing you another video again shortly. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel as I upload videos on a weekly basis. Please feel free to follow me on Facebook. I'll leave um, the link in the description below. And as I said, I'll leave the link in the description for my chocolate ganache recipe and my vanilla cake recipe. So thanks for watching. Bye bye.